Good morning. It's Wednesday, August the 3rd. I'm Lindsay Morrison. Kim McDonald is here, and it's a holiday today in Newfoundland. Uh, the Royal St. John's Regatta taking place, and we're dealing with a little bit of drizzle right now in St. John's, but conditions will be drying out throughout the day. Yeah, it'll be cool, though. You'll need a jacket today. Temperatures, again, staying in the mid-teens. I think you're used to that in St. John's now. Yesterday, 13 degrees. Today, 14 degrees. But at least the rain is going to let up. A uh, bit of a different story, though, in the Maritimes. We're still anticipating uh, some showers throughout the day today. Yesterday we had rounds of thunderstorms. Heard a lot from our viewers on our storm line and Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, everybody talking about the lightning. Well the worst of these thunderstorms has fizzled out but we're still seeing quite a bit of rain in the Maritimes. Yeah that's the thing. It's going to continue right through the morning hours through the afternoon. We're looking at again uh, upwards of 50 millimeters of rain in some areas. Halifax has seen 65 millimeters of rain. Now keep in mind that's as of 3 a.m. So it has continued to rain since that time. Let's take a look at the, the radar. Look at this. Heavy amounts of rain. Places like Colchester County, uh, Picto getting that heavy rain. Thunderstorm watch still in effect, although right now it's not so much the light show as it was last night. Right now it is the rain that's the biggest problem. So heavy rain causing localized flooding, not out of the question. Now it doesn't mean that uh, New Brunswick at 30 to 65 millimeters. So uh, rain continues in the Maritimes today, especially North Nova Scotia. Take it easy on the roads today. You're probably going to have to give yourself a little extra time. And you know, it wasn't just the Maritimes experiencing thunderstorms throughout the day yesterday. We also had some heavy rainfall in parts of Quebec. And uh, I know you've been asking for the rain, and well, you got it. Here it is. Uh, Certainly had their fair share of thunderstorms in the last couple of weeks. That, that's for sure. And uh, we heard from Emily Vukovic, who's in Quebec City, and she uh, let us know on Facebook yesterday morning that uh, the thunderstorms were rumbling through. Yeah, that's tough when you're driving. And when you're on vacation, you don't want any <laughs> rain then. They do want the rain in southern Ontario. Just some uh, showers for the most part, although a pretty decent band just went through and is just going through the GTA right now. So uh, that is needed rain. It'll be a little bit of a slower commute, but I think that uh, the heavier rain by the time most of the cars are on the road uh, will be letting up a little bit. Not so much in southwestern Ontario. Our severe thunderstorm watch has just dropped for that area, but we're still looking at heavier bands of rain. Temperatures right now in the 20s. It feels a little bit muggier than that and we're looking at a cooler day today than yesterday. Let's take a look at your long-range forecast, and we'll begin in the west, where we've got a beautiful day in British Columbia. The coast uh, is looking good today and tomorrow. We could see some thunderstorms. They may be significant in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, for your Thursday. Watch for that, because especially in Manitoba, we could be seeing some hail and some lightning, heavy downpours, too. Ontario, a nice uh, ridge of high pressure builds in, still unsettled in Atlantic Canada. Uh, we've got an area of low pressure that's moving just south of the Maritimes. It'll have an influence on Newfoundland with some windier weather there. Fair skies in the Maritimes come Friday just in time for the weekend. That's nice. And we're watching this area of low pressure stateside. If it sneaks up into southern Sask and Manitoba, that could mean some significant thunderstorms. Northern Ontario, you're in for some wet weather on Saturday. The risk of thunderstorms there. Just some passing showers possible late day in southern Ontario. Another windy day for Newfoundland and that stormy weather moves east into Quebec and the Maritimes come the end of the weekend. Hi, good morning. It is Wednesday, August 3rd. I'm Kim McDonald, along with Lindsay Morrison. Coming up in less than a minute, we've got your local forecast details. But first, let's take a look at where we have some active weather today, or at least the potential of it. Certainly across uh, Alberta and Saskatchewan, again, for the most part, non-severe thunderstorms expected today. Heavy downpours, possible small hail too. Isolated severe though, the best risk for that will be southern areas of Manitoba. In Ontario, there's the risk too of some non-severe thunderstorms, mostly for the southwest, although the severe thunderstorm watch has come to an end. Uh, keep an eye on the sky, especially uh, for the morning hours, a little unsettled there. And coming up, down, here's Kim McDonald with a closer look. Yeah, that rain is pretty significant, too. My goodness, uh, as Lindsay was mentioning, the highway closures, uh, Lower Sackville was bad there, Digby, Colchester County, uh, Guysborough County, Halifax. Look at this rain. Uh, Halifax has seen about 65 millimeters 
since last night. It thunderstormed for about eight hours straight. I can't even imagine. Did anybody sleep last night? There's the rainfall warning that continues in the same area because the rain just keeps training in one area. There's an upper level low and there's a surface low and that means we've got a nice combination here and a lot of moisture. Where you need the moisture, Ontario, and it's coming down right now. There's the rain. Toronto has seen it in the last hour or so. Moving across uh, the Mississauga, Oakville, Hamilton area. Southwestern Ontario, not too bad, but the extreme southwest. Look at this. Yeah, you just got a good little shot there in Windsor. Windsor doesn't seem to escape the rain. Yeah, you, know, you get the thunderstorms uh, often, often. And today, uh, no exception. These will be primarily in the morning. High pressure is moving in, so eventual clearing through the day. We've got some thunderstorms in northern Ontario. It'll be hot and sticky there, too. And the risk of some storms across the prairies. We have less than a minute to go before your local forecast details. Good morning, I'm Kim McDonald. It's Wednesday, August the 3rd, and we have the potential for some stormy weather today. Uh, we could see more watches and warnings across the prairies, Alberta, Saskatchewan, southern areas of Manitoba, and that's where we see the potential for severe weather. In Ontario, too, the better chance in the morning for southwestern Ontario for some thunderstorms, and through the day in northern Ontario, that's a cold front moving through that'll bring you some thunderstorms there. Atlantic Canada, more rain, more thunderstorms for you. Again, we could see some isolated severe, including hail. Yeah, and you've already seen all kinds of rain. Coming up, speaking of rain, it could be devastating for Haiti. Wide. Well, maybe it's not business, maybe more pleasure if you're traveling to St. John's to Quitivity Lake for the regatta today. 14 degrees, overcast skies. We've got some drizzle this morning. We're expecting that to come to an end. Halifax, the heavy downpours continue. You're below seasonal, 19 degrees. And similar conditions in Moncton, 20 today with the threat of thunderstorms. Some unsettled weather.